What is up, everybody? We are back on Feed the Beast Infinity. I'm having a lot, a lot of fun playing this mod pack. It's awesome. And I've done a little bit more work on the spawner. It looks pretty damn good. That block is placement. Because we're going to get some ash blocks. But we're going to do some things today. I don't usually record for the day. But it is rather quiet, so we'll see how it goes. Because the building's quite noisy, because I've got a laundry room next to it. So it kind of affects when I can record. But all is good. We'll see what we can get done anyhow. Might have to do a couple of... Well, a couple of cuts for the day. So... I've done a little bit of work on the spawner, added some carpenter blocks, got some nice path going and stuff. And what we're going to do is we're going to get this replaced. There's a block, I believe, in the nether called Ash Block. And now that gives us some smoke. Now I think that'll look pretty damn nice with the blocks which we've went with for the spawner. Now the spawner's been super efficient. It's been doing what I need to do for XP as well. We've got a little bit of glass here. Let's just pop that out. And as you can see, we got 48. 48. So that's awesome. So they're going to keep going there. They're going to just spawn. We can pretty much AFK at this spot and we're pretty much safe and they'll just come down. And what I had to do is I had to darken inside so that's why we've popped it out a little bit more so less light. I've got a half slab up there as well so that is all good. So today let's get our tools. We probably need this one I would imagine. So what we've done we made an ender chest because we've got the blaze powder to do so now. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to try to get set up a little system down in the basement. For storage, because all these chests are ugly. Kaboom! So we're down. So I've turned a little bit of this room out. Nothing fancy. We've got the beam, so we're going to have to move the beam for home. And I put all these better barrels in from the Jabba mod. Now these are awesome. So these can hold, at the moment, 64 stacks max. So 64 of that item. So 64 times 64. So that's quite a bit. So I've lined these up at the moment, because what we're going to do is we're going to take the ender chest. First of all, we're going to put the ender chest right there. Now, also, the beauty of the ender chest is it links directly to a thing called an ender pouch. So I've got the recipe for the ender pouch here. So it's just free leather, ender pill, bit of wool, and some blaze powder. And that allows us to make the ender pouch. Bim, bam, boom. Pretty straightforward, eh? So let's get a diamond on here. Let's take a diamond down the basement. And let's just link the chest to this ender pouch. So we shift and... We just right click, sorry, onto there. And now we have an ender pouch here. Now, how do we link the ender pouch? Do we go over and just shift and... Yep, so we shift and right click as well. So now when we open the ender pouch, it opens up the ender chest. Now that's awesome. So you can upgrade these as well. So what I want to do is I want to get a transfer node. Let's see how we make one of these. Let's just go to this wonderful crafting table. So now we've got a portable basic storage system which we can transport items back if we're out and about so we are after transfer i believe it's called transfer node extra utilities is it yes so transfer node items so that's a block of redstone a sorting pipe some stones so sorting pipe we need to get we need some of them anyhow so let's just quickly go at extra Add extra uti utilities. I can't even see the keyboard. My mic's in the way. Right, so extra utilities. We're going to need some pipes. So where's the pipes? So the pipes are sitting here. So transfer pipes is what we're going to need. And we're going to have to obviously get a sorting pipe as well. So the transfer pipes are pretty straightforward. Stone slabs. Makes eight of them. Glass redstone. So in one of these ugly chests, <laughs> we should have some stone. Yeah, there we go. Got some stone cooked up. Let's just turn them into slabs. Let's get some of them going, because we're going to need a few of these. If not, we'll just burn some. We need some glass. Don't forget the glass. The problem is, did we use all the glass? Nope. So there's the glass. We're going to need some redstone. Just get 64 of them. So if we click on our pipe at the moment. Where did you go to? Do, 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 do. There you are. Transfer pipe is what we're after. We should be able to make some of these. Now, let's make 40 of them for now. We don't want to go overboard because we do need to get it is a sorting pipe. So the sorting pipe is, oh, well, that's easy. It's just a gold ingot in the middle. So let's just, we should have gold in this one. Damn, these chests are noisy. Have we got any gold? 
Oh, no, we don't have gold. We don't have gold, everyone. We don't have gold. <coughs> Not to worry. I need to look into that as well, because this part is part of Fumacraft. Now, there is a way you can pretty much get rid of it. But as you can see, the eerie, it keeps spreading. There's a thing called, I think it is an ethereal bloom, a blossom, one of the two. And that allows us to change our back, hopefully, to normal. But well, we've got one gold ingot at the moment. Let's get some gold going. And the reason I want to get sorted this out is because these keep turning up. Despite all the lights which we have. Um, maybe we haven't torched up that area. No, we haven't. So they all spawned over there at the moment. That is never a good thing. <laughs> Let's put that there. Select our gold. So we can make 85. We're running low on gold, to be fair. Let's just click on that. Walk away, because we don't need to worry about it now. Disappear in here. Boom. Shut that. Goodbye. He's going to bug us outside now, isn't he? He's going to be like, all the time. I'm going to put that in there, and we're going to get two sorting pipes. That's that. Awesome. Pretty straightforward stuff. Let's get a transferred node going now, so we could do it two different ways. Because we don't have many ender pearls. I think what we're going to do is we're going to do it with... Oh, we could just use the normal pipe, actually, to be fair. Hmm. We'll use a block of redstone, because we've got a lot of redstone at the moment. Two bits of stone. Do we have stone on us? We've got one bit of stone. There's another bit in the chest, if I remember rightly. Yep. Proper, proper doing it. We're proper doing it. So we're going to take out all of you. Can I have all of you back, please? So we need a block of redstone. Let's see if we can do this. There's one block of redstone. And now we should have all the pots, hopefully, to make. Apart from a chest. We don't have a chest. No. <laughs> I thought we had everything but apart from one chest. Well, that's that's not too bad. Let's get some wood. Can we make a chest out of you? Jungle wood? Yeah, I should be able to. Let's just put you into here. Let's get eight of that. You were meant to be. You were meant to be. Let's go over. Let's get this going. Let's get this going. So we've got the transferred node. So now we should be able to go. Boom, for take one of them. Perfect. Let's drop down into here. Let's get this kind of set up. So, the transfer node I want to put on the side of here. What that's going to do is going to pull out. Now, we can put speed upgrades into there as well. I believe speed upgrades are that. It's just gold. Gold, gold. Redstone blocks. Not too bad to make. We can get four of them. We'll get them all upgraded shortly because I don't think it's a necessity at the moment. What we want to do is we want to get these transfer pipes. Or is it going to be sorting pipes? I know the sorting pipes are meant to be intelligent, but for now, let's just connect these up with our transfer pipes, and let's see if it works, shall we? So, if we get our ender pouch, we right-click it, and we just throw in some redstone. Redstone's going to go into there, but we can lock these chests as well. Now, I don't think I can lock the chests... So what's that's going to do? It's going to get the two, and it's just going to spread them all out, which is not what we want. So maybe you got to use an empty hand, shift and right click. So shift and right click locks them into there. Shift and left click will pull them out of there. So that's probably why you have to get the sorting pipes, because what the sorting pipes will do is it'll look for the first empty slot. And kind of, yeah, it's going to look for the first empty slot, and it's going to just continue filling them up, the chests. So what we would have to do in this extent is we would have to set all these up manually. So where we would want things to go. So let's just pull these back out. See, that's locked now. So that's always going to be redstone. Oh, control zooms in. Whoa, it's crazy. So let's just get the empty hand. Let's throw you onto the floor. That's weird. It's like zoomed in. What we want to do is we want to take that and lock that to diamonds. So redstone diamonds. So far, so good. So now let's test it. Let's see if it'll do what we want it to do. So what we're going to do is we're going to set this all up anyway, so we've got all of our ores on there. So the redstone's now going in the correct place, and the diamonds are going there. So we're going to have to literally sit and boop, 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 all the way around. Now this is going to get extended all the way along here. To here, so speak. So it's going to be a whole entire area as such chest in this room. 
just to get us going until we can get our applied energistics on the go. Once we get applied energistics on the go, really, to be fair, we'll probably just use these for the ores and applied energistics for everything else. So that's good. That's good. I like the way that's going. So that's what we could do. We can come and get all them kind of set up. And I did make, the, I made an enchantment table, but I made an auto enchantment table as well from open blocks. Because there is a mod on here, I'm sure it allows you to select the enchant you want on certain tools and weapons. But the auto enchantment table, I need to do a little bit of research on because I'm not too sure what, what it's all about. Now what this does is basically it takes in from an XP pool, allows it, put in an item, and it just automatically picks, as far as I'm aware, an enchant, which it thinks is the one you want, which, okay, it, that's not a bad idea, but it's also not too practical as well. So let's just take some of these, I'm just going to get some lead, bronze, get the iron, because we've got quite a bit of iron to be fair. Let's get some tin out, nope, we're full, right, we're just going to drop down, we're just going to quickly lock some of these in. So, silver ingot, let's see. Get out of my hand. See, the only problem is I changed Q to be the configurable <laughs> user interface, which wasn't good. So we're going to right-click you, right-click you, and you. We're just going to lock these down to whatever item we put in. So, silver. There we go. The only thing is it doesn't tell us what's in it. Oh, it does if you look at the top. Silver ingots. Diamonds. Redstone. So it tells us basically what what's in what, which is not too bad. Isn't too bad at all. So we're going to throw you in there, because you're going to be iron. Now that's automatically putting them on our hotbar for us, which is pretty damn awesome. We're going to put in the lead up here. And the last one should be copper. This should be... Well, that's just bronze. Bronze, isn't it? Let's put the bronze in there. So let's test the ender pouch anyhow. So we're going to just throw these in. Like these so, thought, like this. And what that's going to should do, now, that should go boom, 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 And it should start putting them in, in the correct order. In theory. Yeah, it's doing it. It's just doing it really, really slow. Extremely slow. So, they're all going in now in the correct places, which is good. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to spend some time. I'm going to get all this configured. I'm going to not do it at this precise second. We'll do a little bit of off camera. Because what I want to focus on today is... Something I've been waiting to do for a while. I want to get to the end. Since we get the end, we can kind of get a basic end farm like kind of set up. The downside of it is, it's, it depends where the portal is. So we're going to take some of these. We're going to take some blaze powder. And we'll put that into here. And we're going to have to get some organization going. We've got some eye at the end as. Awesome. Now, 16, I, I imagine 16 would do it. Let's just drop in some of this. Get get rid of some of this out of inventory. For now. Yeah, let's just chuck these in here. So, we're going to go on an adventure. So, we've got our things and stuff to do. We've got our little golden bag of awesome tools. Don't know why. We've got our chisel there. If we die, we'd cry. Let's just put them in there for now got what ender pills we're gonna put the ender pills in there as well let's get out get some more blaze powder in case we need them i don't think we should we should be all right and let's see where this portal is i'm sure there's different variations of the eyes as well right so we're off in this direction and hopefully they don't all break all right so we're going in this direction for now. Oh, that one broke. And off we go. Ah, oh, that one broke as well. So we're going to we're heading in this direction. So let's just let's get a little bit of a, a distance going, so we're not using too many up. It's a big drop down there as well. Is it going over the drop? Let's see. Oh, trust the one that doesn't break going a tree. So let's get up there. Let's get going. So mainly today, this adventure is going to be just going to find the end. Once we find the end, do some work there. 
because I hate this shrubland. Well, the thicket, it's not so much the shrublands. I don't mind the shrublands, it's the thicket. This stuff here. You know what, I'm getting come to the idea we did not bring any torches either. No, we didn't, we didn't. Or did we? No, we didn't. So what I'll quickly do, actually, while we're out and about, because we've got food, let's cut down some wood, because we can always dig some coal. Let's get a few sticks going. Oh, a little bit of frame rate jet, that's it. Everything seems to be a lot smoother now since I installed Optifine. Though. Let's just get some wood on the go. Because I don't know how far out we're going to go. Yeah, that should be enough, surely. Right, we don't need you. I need to change the configs as well, because... Oh, well, I just picked them back up. Goddamn fawns. And where's the eye going to go? Right, so that's dropped it. Awesome. So we're still going in this direction. So it seems to be somewhere over here. It might be quite far out. Amongst all these lovely, lovely fawns. Fawns are a pain. Only concern is, it's night time. So we've done a little bit more exploring as well. So we found another village. We did get a, ma a miscraft page. Not too sure yet. Haven't played too much with miscraft, so I'm quite looking forward to getting into that one. Did you break? Yeah, you broke. So I'm f I've got a feeling that it's going to be quite far out. Now all I want to do is get the portal set up to the end. Because what I want to work on next is probably setting up some leadstone solar panels to get started. A little bit of energy. We can now make... Actually, that's a good point. We can now make our lava generator. Because we've got a lava generator, so we could, should be able to get that going as well. You make an ender tanks. But that's why I want to get to the end. So we can get pretty much a, a good resource of ender pearls going. So you're going there. Don't say that's the portal there. Let's just see if... Nope, it's going to continue. It's going to be miles out. That's the only problem with... <laughs> In a way, it's the only problem with modded Minecraft is because biomes are plenty, is such a large, large, vast amount of land. It could be absolutely anywhere. We could be six biomes over before it decides to tell us where the portal is. Awesome, let's get that. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little bit of traveling. And I'm going to continue throwing up some. So, don't go anywhere, be right back. Okay, so we're back and we're surrounded by sheep, so we didn't have to go too far, actually. So, the ender pills are pulling me towards this direction here. Right underneath this tree. So, let's have a look at the map. Let's see how far out we are. So, we're currently here. And we live... Actually, where do we live? We live up here. So we're not massively far out, to be fair. But it's still kind of a distance. It's, it's a distance. So what we're going to do is we're going to dig this out. Now, we should hit stone shortly. Once we hit stone, I can get out. There it is. I can get out the hammer of destruction. Now, they always say, don't dig straight down. Which is true. You never know what's underneath here. And usually it involves gravel. A lot of crazy stuff. Now that's, now that's cobble. So there we go. Yeah, mossy cobble. Awesome. So now we're in the dungeon. Let's get out with spiky pork pork. Did we get any coal from that? Yes, we did. Good job, brought some wood. Now he has skeletons. Oh. So, let's get out a pouch. Let's just let's put some things in. Because if we die, we don't lose it all. It stays in the pouch. We need to actually, I think you can enchant these as well. We need to try to get some, I believe it is, soul bound, it's called. Try to get soul bound put on there. 
So which way do we go? So we're gonna put a torch down in each place we went. And we don't have many torches. So that's a dead end there. Let's go this way. Skeleton right there. Let's leave him behind iron door. Let's just knock this out. So this concussive creeper. I don't like them concussive creepers. They're, they're a bit of a pain. So that's a dead end there. Let's just whack a torch down. There's some torches down here, which isn't too bad. But not that many. Torch here. We're going to go into here. So zombies. Skeleton. And an enderman. Awesome. Let's take you up. Come on. Whoa. Right, so that's just a dead end this way. Let's put a torch here. I hate these skeletons. I hate skeletons. It's just the hard to get in the range. Enderman. Hmm. Come up, mate. Yep, there we go. Let's just quickly eat. Oh, there's a silver fish as well. Gotta be super careful down here, because it's like super hostile. Especially in this mod pack. Oh, hell no. Look at that, man. Silver fish spawner. Huh? It's never a good thing. It's just... I know it's harvestable, but I don't want it. No! Silver fish! No! No! Get out of here. Let's get rid of that. Harvestable? Oh, so you can just break them and pick them up? So I went for... I went and took a dolly for no reason. Why you would want a silver fish spawner for? I don't know. Alright, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we've got 12. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to stand here, and we're going to press J. And we're going to just put in right here, and portal. I'm going to save that. So we're going to put this nice... Well, I should have saved it, actually. Yeah. So we've got a nice beam going anyhow. We mustn't be able to travel. There's a spider over there. Let's just quickly kill him. Get out of here. Get out of here. Right. So let's get this going. Let's get this going. So what we're going to want to do is, first of all, get rid of that lava in a second. Let's get our eyes out anyhow. Let's make up some more. We're going to take... Let's just do five of them. Take some blaze powder. We're going to go like this. Boom. Good job we brought it. We came totally prepared for this. We did. It's been a long time <laughs> since we've done this, actually. And let's just place them down. Like so. Voila! We're off to the end. We're off to see the magical wizard. Let's just get rid of these. With the resources which were stole from here. We're just going to... I'll just, we'll put some blocks in, get rid of it. Don't know why you would want a silver fish spawner for. Combine with powdered spawner and an anvil to set spawn type. Oh, Ender IO allows us to change them. That's quite interesting. We'll definitely have a look into that, actually. So I went and got a blaze one for no apparent reason. Well, technically we needed one anyhow. So, that's the lava I got rid of. Down here, what we're just going to do is just while we go here, just in case, just to be safe, let's just put that in there. And let's jump in to the end, the place where I've been really excited to see. Now, we don't have any other resources to build out here yet, but the fact that we now know where it is, then we can get here pretty easy. That's awesome. Now, this is the end. Now, the end's crazy. I'm quite scared. Oh! 
What the? Let's just roll. God damn. Goodbye, crew world. Goodbye, crew world. Oh. That's not good. That's not good. That's not good at all. Ah. Okay, so the end is extremely hostile. How we get our stuff back? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll figure that one out on the next episode. <laughs> it's not too bad. We can make all that again. Wow. I just got completely killed straight off the bat. Knocked down by a dragon. Killed by an enderman. Panicked. Dropped off the side hoping. Hoping. We would be alright. Nope. Nope. Fell out the world. Died. So, there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Until next time, see you all later. I need to go get some rest. Uh. It begins again.